Hey, boys and girls, time for the ride, drive, drive home, drive home, ride home, drive home. So, it was a long day today. It's I'm not going to talk about work issues, but I'm tired and my head hurts. Um, I've been having problems with like holding this phone and driving with one hand. So I'm gonna try to set the phone down in my lap and do it that way. So if you can't hear, let me know so I can talk louder. And okay, now I'm gonna, um, gonna try not to talk about describing my driving situation. Like, because that seems to be all I say is uh, describing what's happening on the road. And that's okay for some time, but I'm going to try not to do it today. It's a little bit cold. I mean, it's warm. It's December 2nd, and it's 5.40 on the p.m., and... It's 36 degrees, so it's pretty nice, but still, even so, it's like the car is just started up. It's a little bit chilly, a little bit shivery like that, so the car will warm up quickly and it will be fine. Up to today, we're talking about, let's tell you, let, let's tell you what happened on the two days that you didn't, we didn't have a show. We only have the drive home show when we were actually driving home from work. So the last two days I didn't work. So let's tell you, let's tell you what happened on them days. Monday, I don't know what happened. I went and I, ran, I worked out, I lifted weights. I, there was a lot of old people, a lot of old people in the Snap Fitness. A lot of old people come in the morning at the Snap Fitness. And then I noticed the younger people come at night, but the old people come in the morning. Now I had to be there early for a reason, um, something about 10 o'clock, can't remember, 10 o'clock. Uh, oh, the guy, the fix-it man, was coming to the house, that's it. He was coming to look at a uh, garage door opener and uh, uh, the lights, the light bathroom vanity light. So I had to be done and back home by 10 because that was when he was supposed to come. So I got up early and went to, went to the snap, started working out and all the old people were there. And so I didn't, I didn't get the, the movable weight bench. What I do is I get the movable weight bench and I move it. Under the under the weights that have the, the track in them, but that's that way I can do bench pressing without a spotter. Because if you can't push the weight, then it, it won't crush you. It'll just stop right there, and then you can get out and you're not dead, but you're embarrassed, you're humiliated and stuff. So the I didn't do that that on Monday because of all the old people walking around. So I just did the bench press free weights. And I got up to 215. I did 215 with no no spotter. Pretty pretty easy. Felt pretty confident that I could do that, and I did. I didn't feel too good about doing 225. So I just stopped there, and I did you know I did other weights, and I did multiple reps of different weights like. 135. I started at 135. I do that 10 times, and then I work my way up. And then, well, this, um, told, I'm not going to I'm not going to describe it. I'm not going to describe it. I almost did, but I'm not. I didn't. I didn't. So then I go back down after I max out, and I go back down to like 135, and I do that a whole bunch of times, like 10 times, then like seven times, then like five times, then like five times, as many times. Until I feel that, uh, till I feel that burn, you know, the whatever, 
got to get my burn on. And then I go to other weight machines. But then I ran uh, a, fi- a 5K. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Okay, so here's, here's, here's the thing. I was just going to do a 20-minute kind of easy pace run. But then I'd like, the day before, or one of the previous days, I had been emailing with Eric, my brother-in-law, for those of you who don't know, he's my brother-in-law. We email, and he said I, he would. Uh, he was. Uh, he ran a 5K um, at the LA Fitness, and he was. He kind of ran, walked it, and he said he took it. Took him 45 minutes, but he got it. He got it done. He got her. Get her done. There's one Christmas lighthouse. One. Uh, 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 one Christmas lighthouse. Okay. Can't describe what's going on, but I'm getting angry. So, <clears throat> so I get to go. I go start to run the the five k. I was very silent because, like I said, I was not going to describe things, and let's just leave it at that. Two, two Christmas lighthouses. Ah, 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 ah. Three, three Christmas lighthouses. Ah, 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 ah. Now, uh, Eric ran the, ran, walked the 5K and said it took him 45 minutes, but he did it. And I'm like, <coughs> you know, <coughs> well, I can do it in 30 minutes. <laughs> so, I'm at the, I'm at the snap there and I'm, gonna just do a 20 minute kind of easy run but then I'm like no let's do a 5k and I can do it in, I can do it in 32 minutes I was confident about that and, and about that, that so I just was like I'm gonna show Eric how it's done well I ran you know six miles per hour that'll give you a 5k in 32 minutes I ran the first mile at that pace I ran all no, those we weren't doing miles, we were doing Ks. So I ran the first K in uh, like six and a half minutes. So I'm thinking, okay, 2K will be 12. Uh, no, it's like, I don't know, something like six and a half. So I was thinking maybe it was 6.15, I think. So then the 2K would be 12.30. Well, I didn't get the 2K in 12.30. I stopped and huffed and puffed and rested for a minute or something. Anyway, I stopped about five times, I would think. Well, I, at first I stopped, and then I started walking. Like, I slowed it down to, like, three and a half miles per hour, and I started walking. And, uh, and, uh, I felt like I walked a long time, and I was like, man, I don't, I don't have time. I don't have time. I have to be done by 10 o'clock, so... Speeded it, speeded it back up again. Blah 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 blah. So, bottom 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 line, end of the story is, it was only like 35 minutes, and I did the five. I did the the five k. So, that was weird because I feel like I did a lot of walking. I can't tell you the exact amount of time I walked, but it just felt like it shouldn't have. It should, it should have been a lot longer than than like 35 minutes. So that's what I did Monday up until 10 o'clock. <laughs> now we're up at 5.49 on the p.m. So that took nine minutes. Well, I was finishing um, finishing up there at Snapper Rooney, Snapper Poop Poop, and um, getting ready to go back home. I still had like 20 minutes thinking I'll take a shower be done before 10 and so then the, the guy calls me while I'm still at snap and he says I'm at your front door dude so I'm like what so I said well I'll be there in two minutes I'm right across the street so then I came there and then so here's my editorial comment the dude he, he didn't even uh, he didn't even stay more than 10 minutes I'm like dude why are you even coming over why why he looked at the bathroom vanity I explained what happened he didn't even try it he just says well I think it's I think it's a short in the in the wiring or something 
Well, we're not gonna fix it today. I'll we'll come back and fix it in a week. I'm like, why, dude? Why are you even come out? And then he's like, oh, let me look at the garage door opener. Um, there's Christmas lights, house, whatever number we're on. Ah, 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 ah. So he goes and looks at the garage door opener, and he he thought that I was so dumb that I disengaged the opener with pulling the pulling the cord, you know, manually opening in the door, and he thought I was so dumb that I did that unknowingly and didn't reset it. Like no. Uh, I sell, I sold garage door openers for a lot of years, and I'm not that dumb, okay? I'm not that dumb. So he went up on a ladder, looked up, it's like, it's, it's buzzing, like it's, it's opening the door, but the chain is not moving, and the chain is on the gear, so it's obviously a gear's inside the motor, or the motor is stripped or something. He said, like, sounds like the motor's fried, but if the motor was fried, it wouldn't even buzz it wasn't it would make any noise it would just stink so he's like yeah okay then i'm gonna go then you need a new garage door opener and i'm gonna fix that later so that was it that was what i so then uh it was snowing what was the other thing then oh i had a dog internet wasn't working the modem that we had wasn't working so i brought the modem back to Comcast Xfinity, I don't know which, what they're called, the store says Xfinity, but the website is Comcast.com, I don't know, make up your mind what you want to be called, so I get a new modem, bring it home, set it up, the internet still don't work, it just don't work, so then I calls, calls them back, and then they say they got to send out a tech, because they can't figure out why, so that was Monday, I don't know what else happens, so, but then Tuesday was yesterday, and we're getting, you know, we're getting the, uh, yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and uh, borrow your stapler, so that would be great. Um, we're cleaning the garage. <clears throat> There's a lot of junk in there. We have, I mean, a lot of stuff that we've had for five years and haven't even looked at. So... We're like, gonna get rid of clutter, you know. So, one of the things, one of the things there, yeah, yeah, eat it, yeah. One of the things that there yeah, was gonna do was gonna get rid of the photon, okay? No, oh, get rid of the photon. You can't sleep on it. That's my chair there. Yeah. You're sitting in my chair. Um, the photon was up in Scott Jr.'s room. The idea was to replace that with the bed that was in the garage. So, basically, that was the majority of what I did yesterday. But before that, the cable guy was supposed to come. And that was another 10 o'clock deal, so I didn't get it. I didn't really go work out. Uh, I didn't go work out because I had worked out the day before. And, uh... Did you hear something? So I had worked out the day before, and so I did not go work out. And it was snowing, so I shoveled. And then I'm waiting for the cable guy. So he comes, and he fixes the internet. So I, I guess he was the internet guy. Turns out it was the modem was fine, but somehow the way the, the airport the router, wireless router, had to be restarted or something. I don't know. I'm not a techie. I'm not a tech, tech guy tech person, but it's working now, so whatever, coffee talk, no big whoop, so then I'm, I take the, I, I start cleaning out the stuff in the garage, um, I get like the empty boxes first, there's like a ton of empty boxes, I kind of set them off to the side, then uh, I get the bed parts, I bring up a couple of the bed parts, and then I realized, okay, um, I need space in the room to bring the, the big, the big base parts, you know, where the mattress goes. So I, I figure I, I got to get the futon out of there. Uh, so 
excuse me for that burp, that's part of the character, you know, so I go and I, I get the futon out of there, that was a little bit difficult, because what you got to do, you got to flatten it out like a bed, which you would think that makes it harder to carry, because it's wide and flat and stuff, whereas if it's folded up like a couch, it's more compact and you think that would be easier, but actually it's not, because it won't fit through the doors, um, so you, I just flattened it out, kind of tipped it sideways, and I carried it out that way, um, I got it all the way down, the tricky part was going around the stairs, just going around the stairs, you just kept going around the stairs, you go from the top floor to the middle floor to the basement floor, which is the ground level floor, you got, I mean, that's a lot, each, each floor has two landings, you know, it's broken up into two, I don't know what you call those flights, or there's a landing, there's like some stairs and a landing, and then you turn, and then there's some stairs and a landing, and you turn, some stairs and a landing, and you turn, and there's more stairs, and then you're down to the bottom, so that was, that was, took, a, took strength and effort, and was tired, and then I had to bring that, the, the bed, bottom part thing up there, there's, there's the headboard, there's the two flat boards, what holds up the mattress, and then there's drawers, and then there's the base part, the base part is not stable, it, it was standing up on, upright, on its side, and it kind of shifts, because there's nothing really to hold it into place, so, you had to hold it, and keep it from, you know, shifting, meanwhile, by maneuvering it through the doorways, up the stairs, around the landings, all that stuff, that was, that was the most difficult part, um, yeah, so, I got it up to, the, like, the, 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 the last landing, there's a, where you're only, like, eight more steps, or however many steps that is, from the top, I, I got it to there, and I set it down so I could rest, so, and then I got it the rest of the way, set it up, put stuff, put mattress on it, put the uh, sheets on it, stuff like that, then I went, you know, that was hard enough, but then I didn't feel like I even made a dent in the garage, kind of a lot of stuff, a lot of junk, so, uh, then I started breaking down the cardboard boxes, boxing, boxing of donuts, so I broke down a cardboard box, and, and I kind of gathered all the bags of clothes, I would estimate there was, were probably, uh, 10 to 12 bags of clothes, and there's other boxing of things, so that's kind of where it's where it sits at there. We're getting close to being home. Uh, my head still hurts. I saw a couple of Christmas lighthouses, but I didn't mention them because I don't remember the count. And then after that, I went to the Christmas show rehearsal so I could get a sneak peek at it. So full dress rehearsal. It was good. I liked it. They ran through it twice. So I back, I basically seen the show twice now. Um, not gonna not gonna spoil it for you. I'm saying you should go. You don't want to miss it. But um, I'll, I'll give you a little some little hints and things that will make you want to go even more. Okay. Um, Paulita does a song, it's a really good song, okay, it's really good, the band is tight, the singers are tight, she's leading it with Billy Steele, it's, it's probably the best song on the set list, it is, 
Um, they also do a 1950 section, which is really cool. Now, I'm, I've told you before, I think I've even I had a Christmas song discussion where I told you I don't like the rocking around, the Christmas tree, you know, the blah, 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 blah kind of songs. Well, this was like um, a, a grouping of a lot of these songs, and they were really good. Um, it was really, um, sorry for that yawn, it was nostalgic. And I, I, I thought of, my mom would really like this, because the 50s are her, you know, her music era. She likes the new music of, like, the 70s and, and 80s. I mean, she likes ELO. She liked to uh, clean the house to ELO and clean. Why? Why? Oh, I'm not supposed to comment. I'm not supposed to comment. Um, so, but she, the 50s was her era when she grew up, you know, she's a teenager and stuff. Just like the 80s for me, you know. So I still like the 80s today, so she probably still likes the 50s. And so, you know, I, that's what I thought of. My mom would really like this. And they did it very cleverly. I'll just say that. You don't, you don't want to miss it. Don't change that dial. Um, there's also an instrumental, a new twist. There's always an instrumental every year. This year has a new twist that you have to see to believe. That's all I'm going to say. But you have to see it to believe it. And you got to bring your cell phone. You have to. Oops, time to get gas. That's not really describing what's going on. Because I'm just saying I got to get gas. Because the gas thing just lit up. Bing, bing, bing. Time to get gas. Time to get gas. So, um, so yeah, that's I, you got to come to the Christmas show. They, they got some special guests called Stick Yard. You know, that they advertise that on the flyers and stuff. So I'm not, I'm not giving away any secrets there. I don't know what they. I I, I can tell you. I can tell you from the name Stick Yard that they play drums. So, I was just thinking of the Happy Days episode when Richie's band got Sticks Downey as their drummer. And um, they said, like, you're hired. And he goes, you haven't even heard me play yet. And he goes, well, I figure you got to be good because he was black. And like I figure you got to be good, and the the assumption was it's because I'm black. And uh, um, it was a joke, but he goes no because they call you sticks. And he goes no man, they call me sticks because I'm skinny. So that was that was a fun that was a fun one. So yeah, Stick Yard, it's a drummer drumming act should be really cool so you want you don't want to miss it I'm getting ready to close the show my head still hates 608 on the p.m. here 608 on the p.m. yeah yeah I can't wait to get home and get something to eat I, I don't know what to eat yet uh, I don't know I don't know what to eat yet uh, I got some I got some leftover ham Got some macaroni and cheese. What's some left over ham? I'm tired of I'm tired of trying to think, trying to think of something to eat. And sorry if you can't hear me. I forgot about that. Forgot about that. Okay, so we're gonna sign off so I can like start listening back to this and see if it was loud enough for you. If it was loud enough for you. But I'm sorry I'm not yelling the whole time because my head hurts. Did I mention that my head hurts from the long day at work? Yeah, well, it does. So, sorry about that. 
All right, then, we're going to end the show. You guys, you guys have a good night. And drive home safely to the drive home.